I'm so excited for today because there is so much so much to talk about in Canada. <laughs> I'm so excited today because there's so much to talk about Canada. All the good things we hear about Canada, it's really true. Yes, warm people, cold weather, gorgeous nature, maple syrup, free healthcare, hockey, and you know what? The most important thing is mm -hmm. diversity. Canada's DNA probably is diversity. Today we got all the things that are native to Canada and probably everyone. Here has come across at least once. For oh, sure. Let's start with my favorite poutine. I have not heard about this dish before coming to Canada. Let's dig in. Yes. Mm. Poutine is Quebecois dish made up of French cut fries, topped. With cheese curds and gravy. Nope, not what you think. It's not normal French fries, people. Poutine was a slang for a mess in Quebec. It is a 1950s dish which appeared in rural Quebec bars and later on became so popular all over Canada. We'll find it in all restaurant chains like McD Burger King as well. It's funny how this dish was invented. There are so many stories how poutine was um, created, but I like this story better. So in a in a restaurant in Quebec, there was a customer who always customizes fries with cheese curd, which made the paper bag really soggy when the when the chef had to pack it. Mm. So he started serving. <laughs> he started serving them in plate, mm. uh, and later. Customers complained that the fries was not warm because they, they serve it in plate, of course, right? So he started pouring gravy on it to keep it warm. Mm -hmm. So a frustrated customer and a frustrated restaurant owner gave birth to this yummy mess. Yes. Thank you to that customer. <laughs> mm. That's super heavy. We got this put in from Smokes Putinary, which is super famous in Canada. Um, they also have uh, Canadian bacon in it. It's as an additional topping. Canadian bacon is a cut from uh, loin, whereas American bacon uh, comes from a fat belly of the pig. So that's the main difference between Canadian bacon and American bacon. I always thought Canadian bacon is pigs from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, even I thought like that. But when when I researched, uh, th this is the difference I saw. Okay, you know what? It's making me thirsty. I think we should mm -hmm. sip in some Canada Dry. Yes. Canada Dry is nothing but another soft drink and it's a ginger ale. So it, it, the difference is just that it's flavored with ginger. Ginger. Next, we have classic butter tart. Next up is butter tart. It's a very yummy dessert made of puff pastry, butter obviously, maple syrup, eggs and brown sugar. So uh, the alternative version of this is available with pecans, raisins and you can add whatever you like. It was really sweet. Let's clear out our palette before going to the next one. So, here's some ketchup glaze chips. You won't find this flavor anywhere in the world except in Canada. So, this is. It looks very colorful. So, pulipa. <laughs> pulipa from ketchup? Yeah. It's. it's it's not real ketchup, it's simulated flavor. Mm. It's it's just a seasoning. seasoning, yeah. Last for the best. Yes. Timmy's. Yes, Tim Martins. Everyone who comes new here in Canada, I'll take them to Tim Martins always. And I make sure that 
I buy them Tim Hortons coffee and donuts. That's like very Canadian thing to do. Not just that, whoever comes to Canada, they'll always post a picture with Tim Hortons <laughs> in their hand. So if you were just wondering all these days, what, what is Tim Hortons all about? It is just a fast food chain, which is very famous for their coffee and baked goods. The first store was opened in Hamilton, which is a place in Ontario, Canada. The first, uh, and it was opened in the year of 1964. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here from Timmy's today. Yeah. So I'll start with regular coffee. Mm -hmm. So you can modify your coffee anyway. Today I got triple triple. We, we call it triple triple because it's three cream and three sugar. So if you want less sugar and less cream, you can ask for double double, which is two cream and two sugar. And if you want regular coffee, just ask for regular coffee. Or you can modify, like add one milk, one cream, two sugar, whatever you want. Let's try cappuccino as well. You're not a coffee person, right? I'm not a coffee person at all. But I like cold coffee though. Mm. Cold cappuccino, I don't know. Yeah, it is warm. So this cappuccino has two espresso shot and one sugar. <laughs> it's normal. So let's now move on to the baked goods that we got here. These are like very common where you can find yeah. you can find them anywhere, but it's Timmy's. So this is um, a seasonal donut. It looks very cute. I guess should be a polar bear. It's got a filling. Mm -hmm. What filling is it? I, I have not reached to the filling. Okay. <laughs> and this one is Boston cream. And uh, this one is uh, vanilla dip, which looks very pretty. And then this one is just a chocolate dip, as you can see. So I'll try Boston cream, which is my favorite. <laughs> It's Timis. Timis is the best. <laughs> so there's something called Timbits, small donuts uh, in a ball shape. <laughs> so you can get this is pack of ten. So usually I usually buy a pack of ten. Uh, there's pack of twenty, fifty. So people here usually gift Timbits if they go to neighbor's house or somebody's house. It's very common. It's very Canadian thing to carry Timbits and like, you know have Timbits. So here's the cost for everything whatever we bought today. So poutine was seventeen dollars. Um, snacks that includes butter tart, lace, and Canada Dry. It's, it was total fifteen dollars. Tim stuff that we got today was around fifteen dollars. Let us know your feedbacks if you have tried any of this. Uh, in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching us today. Stay safe and stay tuned to our channel. Goodbye. Goodbye.